Hello again. I'm going to pick up coloring this page where I started with the, the gold. Try to keep it more in the center this time. It looks like I've got 18 minutes that I can color here before my phone will run out of space. I wish I could go live. So then I wouldn't have that time restriction because I'm finding that I tend to color for longer than 15-20 minutes at a time which I'm excited to see how long in time it actually takes me to color a page because I never know that There's going to be a little bit of background noise. My partner, Sawyer is his name. He's here and he's going to be out of the room that he's in right now and he'll be out here. And there's also my kitty Evie, so she'll be in the background. I'm probably not going to label this one an ASMR video or anything. Because there'll be too many background sounds. We just got home from working. So Evie is wanting to say hello. I'm going to do my best to keep this in the center. Where I have my camera, I can't see where it's at. Maybe when I get a little bit better at this I'll be able to have it up on a monitor or something so I can see where my page is at in relation to where my phone is recording. I'd like to get a thousand subscribers at least and try to monetize my channel. So I can make a little passive income. With times being as they are, it's every penny counts. And if I can make money doing something I love, and that seems like a good deal to me. I've watched a lot of coloring videos on YouTube and I'm realizing that a lot of effort goes into it and they make it look so easy and effortless. I suppose once you get the hang of it then it is, but it's a lot of little things you don't really take into consideration, so kudos to all those YouTubers who make such seamless videos. I've done some live streaming with my partner over on his YouTube channel. But that's more just talking about our beliefs. And so we don't really focus on, you know, how how in in uh, 
what the shot looks like and I mean we do a little bit but for the most part we're more about just getting across the message that we want to get across so we're not setting things up as, as much as you need to with something like this. This backdrop that I've got on the table here is actually one of the things I incorporated into his channel. We used to hang this up behind us. We talk about what most people refer to as aliens and space stuff and UFOs and what if uh, God was an alien? Probably not typical things you're going to hear about on a coloring channel, right? <laughs> But we're a little weird, we're a little out there, and we like offering a different perception of reality to people. Right now we're in what are we? We're a little north of Savannah, Georgia in a campground because we live full time in a Class A motor home, RV, and we get to move around and, and do our work and it's, I think, 63 degrees outside, so it's really nice. We came down from Cincinnati here so we could escape the cold weather. It was just starting to get in the 40s there and the trees were changing colors and it was really starting to look pretty but it gets cold in an RV. They're not really insulated. So you kind of got to follow the weather unless you want to do a lot of stuff to keep them warm. We realize that the shade is the best thing in the summer. Because it would be 80 degrees and our air conditioner would run nonstop all day. And that can't be good, right? <laughs> So the campground that we were at outside of Cincinnati, we were able to find a shady spot, which is really nice, and our AC came on not that frequently. But when it's 90 or 100, there's, there's not much you can do. You just got to get through it. We're fortunate that there are two air conditioners on this RV. And so we can switch, when one's been running for an hour or two, we switch it off and then move, move to the other air conditioner. And it's, are we 37 feet? Mm -hmm. We're 37 feet, so it doesn't take much to keep that cool. We've been really lucky that there, the RV that we have doesn't have, it was built really well. And we haven't had, knock on wood, we haven't had any major repairs, nothing that Sawyer, my partner, can't fix, take care of. We had a couple little hiccups. Not many, though. really like this gold color. It's pretty. I'm glad. I don't usually color with glitter gel pens. But I think it's gonna look really good once I'm done. 
like I mentioned in the last video, I'm going to have a link to the gel pins that I'm using and then also to the book that I'm coloring from. If anybody has any suggestions, drop it in the comments. Since I'm still learning, I'd like to be open to improvements. Might be able to get this ring done before my time runs out here. That would be nice. Even if you don't have any suggestions, saying hi in the comments would be nice so I can see who's tuning in. I'm still not able to live stream. Oh, I think I already talked about that in the very beginning. So I'm not sure if I should try to get in touch with Uber, Uber support. <laughs> I work, we work Uber, so uh, if I should get in touch with YouTube support to find out if there's something else I need to do to be able to make that happen. starting to get glitter on my hand. I probably will get just a folded over piece of paper and lay it down so that doesn't happen. The glitter can get all on that. I wish it would bond to the page better. So it wouldn't come off on my hand. that last little square. I'll zoom out. You can see I've got that that square, not square, that circle done and then I'm gonna go silver on this one and then I'm not sure if I'm gonna just go gold silver. I think that is what I'm gonna do on all of it but for now, we're done with this piece, part of it, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in.